Alright. Um, Indiana's in the news again. Um, we just... It's kind of a new law, kind of not. Um, I'm going to put a link to the description of it down there in the boxy thing. Um, basically what it is, is it allows civilians to use force against illegal entry by police officers or any government agents. Um, <clears throat> now, the big controversy is a lot of people are saying that, you know, now you can just shoot a cop and it's it's fine. But like most things, they're ignoring the text of the law. Um, one person actually said that every time he pulls over a car, he's going to fear that he can be legally shot. My comment to that is, it doesn't matter whether you got shot legally or illegally, or accidentally even. I don't want to get shot, period. I don't care if you're fully right in shooting me. I don't want it to happen. I don't care why or, you know, whether you're legal or illegal or what shooting me. I don't want to get shot. Um, you know, and secondly, you should always have that in the back of your mind when you walk up to a car. I mean... Obviously, this police officer who made this comment has not been either a cop very long or he got complacent. And in that land field, in a lot of line fields, complacency will kill you. Um, when I learned how to do traffic stops, I was told always suspect that there is three people in that car. Or how many people there are. If you can see three, there's there's four. There's always one person you can't see. At least one person you can't see. And all of them are armed. And all of them are willing to kill you in a heartbeat. So do not let your guard down. It's that, that, that strange mixture of... Being as... You know, polite and courteous and... Unthreatening as you possibly can. At the same time... Being cautious as humanly possible. Um, and I've carried it with me throughout my time. Um, learned it when I was in the prison. When you're walking down the, we call them the ranges, tiers, floors, whatever you want to call it. You know, and you're looking into cells. Always think in the back of your mind. The next cell you come to, come to is going to be a dude sitting in there with a chainsaw. Cutting your arm, going to cut your arms off. You know, always think that. Always have that. You know, thing in the back of your mind. It's, it goes back to the old, you know, hope for the best, prepare for the worst scenario. So anyway, um, what had happened is an individual, basically what happened is almost rightfully the cops illegally entered, some, entered somebody's house. He resisted them. They beat him up, cuffed him, charged him with um, resisting law enforcement, blah, 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 blah. He sued. Or he went to the appellate court. The appellate court overturned his conviction, saying that the police illegally entered entered into his house. He had the legal right to defend himself. Went to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said no. And actually, a law was written where civilians do not have the right to resist illegal entry into their homes. In a, and in my opinion, a blatant Fourth Amendment violation. Okay. For those who don't know, look up the Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution. Um, that bill was later revert, or that law was later reversed, and this was put into its place. And I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but basically, where you go? Um, specifies that a person may use reasonable force against any other person in certain circumstances. Provides that a person is justified in using reasonable force against a public servant if the person reasonably believes the force is necessary to protect the person, blah, 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 blah. Basically, what this does is it's not, like I said, it's not really a new law. And this is why I think it's kind of stupid. Basically, what it says is the law does not care what your job is or what your position is if you're illegally entering my home. I can use force against you. 
And the reason I think it's stupid is why do I need a law to specify what the law says someplace else? Why do why why is it that there needs to be a law written that levels the playing field and says public servants, you're no better than anybody else. If you try to illegal enter into somebody's home and commit a crime, you will be met with force against people who have a legal right to protect themselves in their home. To be reasonably secure in their persons, papers, and places, and all the other stuff in the Fourth Amendment. Why is that? Um, as much as I kind of talk about cops, I'm a, law, I'm a supporter of law enforcement. Okay? I held a law enforcement position for a while. But, people need to keep in mind, or the you know, people in power need to keep in mind that this is a country formed of the people, for the people, by the people. Okay? It's not the other way around. The people are not to support the government. The government is to support the people. Okay? We form the government. We make it. How is it that once you get into power and that position of authority, you forget that? You know, um, in The Simpsons, there's a there's a um, something I, I really liked, and I thought it was really appropriate and really kind of set it down where you know the president signed a bill into law and said this is going to make my bosses happy. And whoever it was was sitting there with him and saw him with your bosses. You know, they have 43 million of them. How many, you know, basically saying the population of the United States is his boss. Which is true. We pay the boss. We pay the president's salary. We elect a president. We elect our congressmen. We elect our state senators. You know, they know, they need to remember that. And that's why, and again, I'm going to offer you here, but, but write your congressman, write your senators, write your president. Um, so anyway, so that's my thoughts. I think it's stupid that we have to have a law that specifies what another law says, and that we need to, in black and white writing in the law, say that all people, all men are created equal again. There you go. Put your opinions down there and, and come up 